So th this is a natural burial site that has, oh my God. Look at this. I have a ton of bones here. Oh, this is gonna be good for making money. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here with an awesome way to start the expedition, the Pole Star Expedition, which is out right now, you guys. So this is gonna be the best start to that. We're gonna walk through it. That way I can show you guys what to do. But the first thing, if you're new and you haven't done this before, in order to start an expedition, you need to create a new game. You don't need to delete any of your old saves. It's totally fine. Don't get rid of them, keep them. But you wanna create a new game right here. So find a new game slot. And as you can see, it says the Polestar Expedition is available. Time remaining is two months. So we got plenty of time, guys. We got plenty of time to do this. So once you create a new game, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to select the community expedition mode selection right here. So let's collect that right there. Boom. There you go. So if you if you haven't played No Man's Sky, if you're brand new, the expedition mode is a totally separate mode compared to the normal mode in No Man's Sky. So they're gonna have completely separate objectives that you're gonna have to complete and it's really, really fun, really, really interesting and you get special rewards for doing it. So let's start it up and listen to this voice. This is brand new. It's all new for this expedition. Commencing freighter control system initialization. Emergency damage. Recovery system engaged. Backup power generators online. Atmosphere analyze support modules. Stabilized. Hyperdrive propulsion damaged. Repair required. Capital ship remote monitoring activated. What? Welcome home, Captain. This is so freaking awesome. I love this. So this is all brand new. We've never started off on a freighter before. We've only started off on a planet. So this is all new. I love it. The first thing you want to do when you first start out is go talk to the captain, the commander. I should say you are the captain. The player is the uh, captain, but you have a commander right here. We need to figure out what the heck is going on with our freighter. So the freighter's master stands at ease awaiting instructions. So let's go to the access the ship's logs. A data stamp, 3178.7. Arrived at the Wazaki system. Warp engines shut down mid-jump. Reactor critically damaged. They're starting to run out of parts now. We can't continue like this. At least the captain's cryopod is beginning to thaw. So I just thought out. I am the captain. I just thought out. So, okay. And that's your first mission objective is to read the log. There you go. And so if you want to know what you need to do in the expedition, all you have to do is press your pause button. And at the top of the screen, you'll see we're in the expedition tab right there. We need to see what we're doing. So we have, we've completed the first mission right here. So let's collect the reward. We're going to get a starship inventory slot two salvage or uh, one salvage trigger module two wiring a cargo bulkhead and purple paint to customize our freighter so let's get that heck yeah so we have two slots this is our uh this is our ship this is the one yours might look different the one thing is they all look different your character might look different as well but we all start with the same upgrades all the same equipment we just have different looking ships that's okay though so if yours looks different than mine, that's normal. That's what it's supposed to look like. And now let's see what else we have to do. Our next mission is to repair the vital freighter system. So let's go into our uh, our uh, inventory menu, go all the way over to our freighter, and we need to fix the atmospheric control unit. But, but, but because we just completed the first one, we have all the ingredients to fix it. So let's do that now. We have all these ingredients because we fixed the, or because we did the first mission, the first milestone. There you go. So now that's done. There we go. Look at that. We're like two minutes into this and we are already completing uh, milestones like crazy. So again, go into your menu and accept the rewards. If you don't accept the rewards, 
it's going to make your life a little bit difficult. So always accept your rewards. We got antimatter, starship launch fuel, and a repair kit times two. There you go. So now the next thing we want to do is we need to land on a planet. And then we're going to need to do a whole bunch more stuff with the uh, ship, with your freighter. But we need to go land on a planet to get a whole bunch of more of our items. Oh, yeah. And we're in first person. If you don't like that, all you have to do is hit down on your D-pad or go to your quick menu like this. Go all the way over here to this gear icon right there. And then look at your player profile. It says toggle camera. There you go. Now we're in third person. I like to play in third person. So it's whatever you prefer. If you like the first person camera, go for it. If you want to play in a third person like I do, just change it up and it's good to go. And then you'll see your ship is broken. Well, at least it looks like it's broken. That's a visual bug. It's a weird thing with the, the expedition just started. So all you have to do is get in and then get out of your ship. And then let's reload our autosave because anytime you get out of your ship, it makes an autosave. So let's go to our options, reload our autosave. And it's just a weird visual thing. It's nothing to do with your ship is not broken or anything like that. It's a bug. I'm sure they're going to patch it pretty soon. But right now it's going to be there. So let's do that. And then the other thing you want to do is jump into your ship. Now what we need to do is we need to go land on a planet. But before you land on any particular planet, I would highly recommend landing on a planet so you can make a lot of money and get a lot of resources. And the one that you're going to find that has all of that stuff on it is this one over here. It is called the, I'm calling it the Howie, the Howie planet, because if you see over on the uh, information panel, it says it has ancient bones. You can dig those up and you can sell them. That way you can get a ton of money and make you, your life a whole lot easier. So let's go do that. So we just broke the atmosphere. The other thing I want to tell you guys is to make your life a lot easier, I would highly, highly recommend Go into your pause menu. Go over to your network settings right here. At the minimum, I would say, make sure you turn your PVP off. Make sure nobody can shoot you because we've had issues in the past where there's been glitches and people have shot each other and killed each other. It's a pain in the neck. You don't want to deal with that. Just turn this off. The other thing is go through your settings and turn them however you like. Every time you start a brand new save in No Man's Sky, some of these settings will be turned on and off you need to go through and fix them. So make sure you have everything set to what you like. If you want multiplayer turned off, you can turn it off right here. If you want to, you can change any of these settings, but I would highly recommend turn on your, or turn off your PVP. Make sure nobody can PVP with you just to save yourself the headache. And then once we get in the atmosphere, the other thing I want to show you is you can farm materials from your ship. What I mean by that is when you start seeing all the rocks and stuff, when you get close enough, just shoot the ground. Look at that. I'm collecting ferrite dust just from shooting the ground, you guys. So always take advantage of that. You can you can farm a whole bunch of your basic materials. I'm talking your ferrite dust, your carbon, anything like that. You can farm a lot of it and just get a whole bunch of it with your ship, which is really, really good. So always, always, always get that crap out of that. Just get as much as you can as you know as long as you want you know just farm the crap out of everything i will say you're going to need a lot of dihydrogen you're going to need a lot of oxygen so focus on these blue crystals focus on you know and you know uh different plants all that kind of stuff but yeah we've gotten a lot so let's land hey look at that i got a whole bunch already again you can move your technology you see these things that are just out in the middle of nowhere these are technologies part of your ship and your uh your suit as well so what you can do is either press X or if you're on PlayStation, press uh, square and it picks it up and you can move it wherever you want. I always put mine in my technology tab. That way it's just out of the way and it gives you more room in your general inventory because you can put anything in here, but you can only put technology in your technology tab. Same thing for your starship. Pick up these things and move them out of the way. That way there, you're not taking up all this extra room and you can use that to store other items, all your, your general stuff. Always, always, always do that. Well, let's get out and let's look around for some bones. Oh, we just did our uh, land planet side. We landed on the planet. As soon as you get out of your uh, ship, you're good to go. 
So let's collect this reward. We're going to get oxygen. We're going to get some upgrades as well. So of course, and we got our refiner room plans for our starship. Now remember, or for our freighter, remember, we're going to need silver, dihydrogen, jelly, and gold. So dihydrogen is key. We need those blue crystals. So you want to look for that. Whenever you do a scan, dihydrogen is going gonna, is gonna to pop up as an H, a blue H. That's what you're looking for. Dihydrogen crystal. So let's mine some of this. We also, we need to look for bones. Since we're here, we're going to dig up bones to sell. So the bones are going to come up as the yellow marker like that. You see that yellow marker? That is a natural burial site. There's going to be bones there. The other thing to keep in mind is we have milestones later on for scanning plants. Look at this one. In phase two, we have to scan 20 plants. You don't have to wait to do that in phase two. You can do that right now and get it knocked out. So we need to scan 20 plants total, not on one planet, not all at, all at the same time. You can slowly do this as you're going. We need 20 plants. We also need to scan, uh, where is it at? We also need to scan 15 minerals, 15 rocks, and 25 animals. So make sure you're scanning everything as you're going. You also get money for this. Again, it's always in your benefit to uh, scan stuff. So scan everything while you're looking for these bones. So let's scan some stuff. The other thing to keep in mind is we need to make a terrain manipulator. That way we can dig up the ground. So in your multi-tool, we're going to install the terrain manipulator. We need carbon nanotubes and uh, dihydrogen jelly. So we don't have any of that stuff now. You see, we can't do anything. So it's just going to sit there. It's broken. We haven't really done anything. But in our uh, in our, uh, our inventory, Scott, my brain just broke for a second. We can create dihydrogen jelly. We picked up some of those crystals. There you go. And we need to make two nanotubes. So there you go. One and two. That's all you need. One dihydrogen jelly and two nanotubes. So now we install it. Now we can dig holes in the ground and we can go get those buried bones. So let's go farm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to farm a little bit. I'm going to scan all these animals. The animals come up as red dots until you scan them. After you scan them, they turn into a green paw. There you go. So I have all that skin. I'm good to go on those. But these ones aren't scanned. So remember, scan all your animals, scan all your plants, scan all of your rocks, everything. And let's go dig up some bones and scan some stuff. I will see you guys in a minute. All right, you guys. I've been going for a little while. I've been scanning some stuff. I've been doing some stuff. The other thing you want to do now that we have our terrain manipulator is you want to pick up some copper because we can refine our copper into chromatic metal and we're going to need that later on. So believe me, you want to go after your copper and get that right now. So let's grab some of this right now. Oh yeah, by the way, the biggest thing, the best technology in the game you start out with. So we can install technology in our suit, right? Let's install it. Let's go to our personal refiner. We need chromatic metal. Dang it, we need chromatic metal already. But we need to make this personal refiner. We got to make that. So that's what we need to do. That's the first thing we're going to do. Let me farm some of this copper and we'll turn that into chromatic metal. It'll be great. All right, I've got enough, but we need to make a portable refiner. We need metal plating. Dang it. Let's do that real quick. Man, I am forgetting all my stuff, you guys. So up, scan it before you destroy it. You got to scan all those rocks, plants, and animals. And let's get some uh, ferrite dust. That way we can make some metal plating. So let's make our portable refiner. Now you need to make this first, but believe me, the backpack refiner will help you out in the end way more than the portable refiner. So there we go. And we'll make enough. We're good to go. So the advantage of the backpack refiner is I don't need to stop and wait for this to finish. If you have a backpack refiner, you can walk around. You can get in your ship. You can go anywhere you want and still be refining stuff. So that's why you want to get your backpack refiner installed pretty early in the game. It helps out so much. It makes it so much easier. That way you don't have to worry about stopping. Like right now, I can't go anywhere. I can't do anything. 
because I don't want to go too far away from my portable refiner. You have to put it down. And then, like, if I go to the space station or if I'm on my freighter, I can't do anything. I can't use the portable refiner. You cannot put this down. You can on your freighter in the buildable area. But you know what I mean. You know, if you're in a different area, like if you're in a uh, in a space station or if you're in the anomaly, you can't refine anything. You're kind of limited. Oh, this one's done. So let's grab this. So now we can build our portable refiner, our personal backpack refiner. Again, you need 100 chromatic metal and oxygen. We got our oxygen, thankfully, so we're good to go. Done and done. So now we have a backpack refiner. Let's get rid of this thing. I'm going to pick it up because I need the uh, the carbon that comes with it. But now that we have our backpack refiner, you don't need the portable refiner. So let's get rid of this. And again, I can do this while I'm doing other stuff. I can leave. I can walk around. I can do whatever I want while I'm, uh, while I'm you know, working. So let's do this. And again, we need a whole bunch of chromatic metal later on. So get that copper while you can. So th this is a natural burial site that has... Oh, my God. Look at this! I have a ton of bones here. Oh, this is going to be good for making money! So look at this. All right, so let's get our ancient bones. We're going to be picking them up. Now, they're not all going to be great. They're going to be... You're going to sell them all, but they're not all going to be like million-dollar bones. It's okay, though. Let's grab all this stuff. We're going to get some really good money out of here, though. I like it. All right, done, done, done. Dude, like six of them. There you go! That is a skeleton that's worth a lot. You want the yellow ones. Holy crap. Yeah, this is going to be good. This is going to be amazing. And purple ones are really good. So blue is the lowest. Purple is the middle. Yellow is the highest. Let me show you what I mean by that. So blue, 58,114. They're pretty good. Pretty good. Purple, 682,000. That's pretty awesome. And then yellow. Oh, it's a yellow. It's a bad yellow one. Usually these are like a million or more. Ah, this one's 869. I got I got tricked. Oh, no. That's okay, though. I'll take that. That's still pretty good, right? That's still a good amount. So I will be going around and digging up bones, trying to get a lot of money, you guys. I want to try to get as much money early on. All right? So do as much as you can. You don't have to do this, but I would highly recommend getting your money early. That way, it'll make it a lot easier later on. So let's go do that. Guys, guys, guess what I just got? I went through a dihydrogen patch, the blue crystals, and you get the cool crystals out of there, and you will randomly get a storm crystal. You want this for later. This is useful. Not only can you sell it, you can also use it to make some technology later on. I'm going to be holding on to that. So I got a storm crystal early. Yes. And again, it's super rare, but you can get it from doing the patches of dihydrogen crystals. So always dig up these cool crystals because you never know when you're going to get a storm crystal randomly from them. Do it. All right, you guys, I think I have enough. So... Now that we have a good pile of money, a good pile of uh, different materials that we're going to need, like our uh, awesome uh, dihydrogen. Again, come over here and pick up whatever you can. While you're flying, shoot the ground. You will get a whole bunch of random stuff. It just makes it a lot easier. That way you don't get to farm it by hand. You can just use your ship. So do it. Do it as much as you can. But we're good on all that. So let's go to the space station because we can sell our bones and also we can actually uh, get some more materials that we're going to need some other materials that we're going to need while we're there so let's go do it oh yeah listen to that rock music I love it Now that we're here, let's sell some stuff. So all our bones we're going to sell. We're also going to buy some stuff from the kiosk as well. But first things first, let's go to sell all of our bones. 
Make sure you're only selling the bones you want. There you go. Boom, boom. I also picked up some salvage data, which you can sell for money as well. Let's do that real quick. So good. Good to go. So now we're going to need to pick up a lot of wiring looms. So get as much as you can. Again, it depends on how much money you have. I'm going to pick up 10. I'm also going to pick up all the life support gels that they have. I'm going to pick up all the ferrite, all of the oxygen, all of the sodium. We're also going to need two magnetic resonators. So get that. Um, we're going to need all the batteries they have. Pick up all the uranium because you can use uranium as launch fuel for your ship. So always recommend getting that. We're going to need some ionized cobalt, you guys. So pick up all of that. And I think that's it. Yep, that's it. That's all we can grab from here. But there is a secret, you guys. You can, if you want to, talk to these pilots. They will have different uh, resources as well. So always talk to these guys. They might have some good stuff that you need later on. So let's check out what he has. Oh, he has more life support gels. Always take those. Let's get... Uh, I think we need some microprocessors. So let's get five of those. Um, all the oxygen, all the ferrite dust, all the sodium. Um, we're gonna need some ionized cobalt. We're gonna need some pure ferrite. Let's do that as well. And I think that's all he has that I need. Oh, batteries, of course. Batteries, take those. And then there's another kiosk way over here. It will also have different items as well. So it will have mostly the same stuff as the other one, but it will have a couple of different ones that they don't have over there. So you see, it's a solar mirror. We can, we didn't get that before, but we don't need it, so we're okay. It has chromatic metal. Let's grab that. We need chromatic metal. It's hard to get. Uh, let's buy that silver. And I think that's it. Okay, so we're good. So we've bought all the basic materials we need. Our inventory is stacked full of stuff. But you're going to know why we need that in just a second. Oh, yeah. And also, these orange cubes, pick them up. It will give you navigational data or it will give you uh, nanites. Either way, it's in your benefit to do that. So do that. Also, the blue one over here as well. That one gave me nanites. That's fine. Either one works. Nanites you need and navigational data you are going to need later on. So I would highly recommend grab those while you can. Get that navigational data because it's going to be useful later on. Yep, no more cubes over here. Okay, we're good. And all these pilots are starting to land now. Let's see what they got. Got anything good? Um, Nothing, really. Everything is the same as the other guy, so that's okay. And we'll try this one more pilot right here, and we'll see what he has, and then we're going to move on. Uh, offer to trade. Amino chamber, you need one of these. If you see one early, grab it. If not, it's okay. We can get it later on, but I'm going to grab it now. I'm going to grab his ferrite dust and his oxygen as well. And let's grab some sodium nitrate as well. So let's grab all of that. And we're doing this because we stocked up on money early. That's another reason why you want to grab those bones early on. That way you can get all this stuff. You don't have to scrap it together later on. You can get it right now. And now we need to go back to our freighter, but I'm too lazy to fly back to it, so I'm just gonna call it in right here. And now, because we've done all that preparation, we need to do, our in our phase one, we need to construct a refiner room. So we have the blueprint for it, we landed on the planet, that's all we need to do to get the blueprint. Now that we've landed on the planet, let's come back here and build the refiner room. Let's go through here, cut up here. Over to the teleporter. Brand new thing. I love it. There you go. And now we need to go to this green area because this is our building area. This is our construction area. So now let's build a refiner room. We'll go into your build menu. Go to refiner. And we're going to put it... Oh, we need dihydrogen jelly. We need to turn our dihydrogen crystals into jelly. So let's move some of this stuff over to our high capacity. That way we can make some room. Dihydrogen jelly. We need two of them. So again, two jellies, sil silver and gold. You need all of that. So let's do that. And we're going to put it right here. But we can't get in because it's just a room. We need a doorway. So we need to make a door. So let's do a door in here. Done. So now we can get in here. 
A well-oiled machine. We got that. So let's accept that reward. We're going to get a warp hyper core and storage room plans. So let's do that. And now we can make a storage room. So let's do that real quick. While we're here, let's knock that out. So let's make a storage room right there. That's another milestone. Let's knock that out. Yes. So we got the storage room done. Let's do that. We got our interstellar scanner plans and salvage frigate modules. Yes. So now we can make our interstellar scanner, but we need magnetized ferrite to do that. So what we need to do is get our pure ferrite and turn it into magnetized ferrite. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to refine it. We have our backpack refiner. I love it. You can also use your, uh, your freighter refiner since we just made it, but I like using the backpack one. It just, it's just easier for me. I like it. So let's do that. Boom. Exosuit. Let's see if we can make our, uh, what's it called? Our refiner. We have our storage rooms. Where is it at? Did I not grab? I didn't grab the, uh, the recipe. Interstellar. Oh, no, no. Sorry. Excuse me. It's going to be in your freighter. You have to build this as a technology upgrade. So let's build it. Uh, oh, we need uh, seven more magnetized ferrite. So let's refine a little bit more. We just need seven more. There you go. So that, that means we're done. So now what we can do is let's, let's install that scanner over here. Install the scanner done and done. Just like in your suit and your, uh, your starship, you have to install it and put all the materials in there. Done. That one's finished as well. There you go. Knocking it all out. And it's because we did a lot of prep work on that planet. Let's get that uh, thing right there. Boom. We got 2,848 nanites, powerful movement and system upgrade, and a powerful pulse engine upgrade. So let's go into our freighter and pick those up. So where did they go? Oh, they're in here. So pulse engine module, that's going to be for your starship. So we're going to pop that down in there. There you go. And then we also have our movement. That is our jetpack upgrade. So let's pop that in there. Done. All right. And you want to put them together. So notice how I, I moved it over to the side. Let's grab the jetpack and put it right there. There you go. So now they're together. You want that. What's the other thing we need to do? We need to warp with our capital ship and we need to reach the first rendezvous. But we have some other stuff we can do here. We need to construct an orbital exocraft materializer. What else can we do? Can we build that yet? We cannot, so we're going to need to warp, and that's fine. Let's go over here and let's warp from our bridge. So we have a warp right here, and it's just like in your starship. The warp is just like in your starship, and you want to follow the green line. You see at the top of the screen, it said expedition route. You want to follow that. That will take you to the first rendezvous. So we have this one. Oh, hyperdrive is damaged. We need to fix our hyperdrive. I'm totally getting ahead of myself here. So we need to fix our hyperdrive, which means we need antimatter housing. We already have the chromatic metal and the antimatter. We need the housing though. So let's build some housing. We already have that recipe. We just need to have the materials. Thankfully, we farm those early. So we have oxygen and ferrite dust. Let's do it. We need to make two of them. And so now we can fix it. There you go. Done and done. It is fixed, fixed, and fixed. There you go. Totally done. And what you can do is you got a warp hypercore. This will fill it up 100%. We might need this later on, but thankfully we got a storm crystal right here. So we can, we can use this one. We're going to be able to make one later on. So let's do that real quick. Now it's 100% full. And again, we can pick this up just like our exosuit and just like our multi-tool. Let's pick it up and move it. That way it's out of the way. We need to move this stuff out of the way. That way we have more room in our general inventory for all of our stuff. Sadly, you cannot move anything that's broken. If it's broken, you cannot do it. Let's make some antimatter and move this thing. So let's make some antimatter. One, two. Because, oh, we need a third one. There it is. Because we have the magnetic resonator, we have the wiring loom, and we have the antimatter. Now we can fix it. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Then we can pick it up and move it out of the way. That way we have more room in here. We're good. We're good to go now. 
So now we can warp to the rendezvous point. Remember, follow this green line all the way up to where it needs to go. And the way you find out where the rendezvous system is, is look for the uh, golden diamond, the yellow diamond. This is where the system is. This is where the first rendezvous is, but we can't get there yet because it's too far away. We got to jump slowly and get over there. So let's do that. Let's go jump over to the next system real quick. Let's do that. Boom. There we go. So we warped. That should be one milestone done. There it is. Went interstellar with your freighter. There's another milestone knocked out. We're going to get a warp hypergore plan, salvage hyperdri hyperdrive upgrade, and an amplified warp shielding plan. So we've got a whole bunch of upgrades for our ship. Again, we got a storm crystal. We can make another warp hypercore, which is awesome. We also got the amplified warp shielding. There you go. So what we can do now is let's make a... Oh, we have our hyperdrive upgrade. Let's install that, but you want to put it next to your hyperdrive. That way it increases the distance you can go. There you go. My exosuit is full of stuff. That's freaking awesome. Okay. So let's go to our, our warp menu. And now we can jump a little bit farther since we have an upgrade. So now we can go right over to the system with the uh, with the rendezvous. If you want to know how to do that, if you're you know you're stuck like this, you can't move, you can't do anything, you're kind of locked onto that system. If you want to know how to unlock it, press B on your controller if you're on Xbox, or O if you're on PlayStation. When you do that, it unlocks it, and you can go anywhere you want. Now I would say follow that green line and go to the warp system, warp to the system that has the first rendezvous in it. So let's go do that. There you go. So we're here. But now we need to go down to the actual uh, rendezvous. The other thing you need to do, because press pause, go to your expedition. In the uh, in the third phase, you need to complete fleet expeditions, guys. So you need to do this early. So what I would highly recommend is go to your navigator. By default, you already have one frigate there. So we oh, we need to leave. We need to make a command station in order to do that. So let's make a command station over here. Can we make a command station? We can fleet command room right here. We need silver, gold, and tritium. We can do that. We need a command station because we need to be able to call them back in the frigates when we uh, do this. So let's put it down wherever you want. Doesn't matter where you put it. So now that we have a command station, let's go to the command room right here. If you talk to it, it says, oh yeah, you have a command post. You're good to go. Success. It will give you one frigate uh, upgrade, and it will give you the plans to make frigate fuel. You'll need those, okay? You need those. So now we know how to make frigate plans. We know how to make frigate fuel, and it gives it to you. We got frigate fuel. Look at that. By default, we get it for free. So now let's talk to the navigator. And we need to send our frigate out on mission. So we need to view potential expeditions. And this is where it's going to take a lot of time. We need to send them on eight missions. If you'll notice, we only have five on this screen. And they only update once every day, once every 24 hours. So get ready. This is going to be the one that takes the longest to do. Because you need to get eight of them. We only get five per day. So you need to wait at least a day before you get another set of missions. The way to get this done really, really, really fast is to send your frigate out. So we'll send him out. We, we selected that mission. We'll select our one frigate guy. He's assigned and he's good to go. We have to have 50 tons of uh, fuel. We have 200, so we're good. He's out on the mission. Now he's going to be gone for three hours. But if you'll notice, let's go to the expedition. 
complete fleet expeditions. We have zero out of eight. We need to do eight. But we've done we've done none of them so far. But if you come over here to your fleet command station, all you have to do is abort the mission. If you abort the mission, he comes back. Okay, so now you have to talk to him once he's come back. And he says, hey, this is what happened while I was gone. We have to debri debrief him. And because he didn't go anywhere, he didn't do anything. We can end it. And now if you check it, we have one out of eight. We'll go to the expedition tab. Look at that. One out of eight. So it completed it even though he didn't do anything. So I would highly recommend, unless you want to get all of the upgrades. Now, remember, not upgrades, materials. When they go out on these missions, they will bring back items for you. So it is in your best interest to send them out there. But if you just want to get them done, like you just want to finish it, you don't want to deal with it. All you have to do is send them out and abort the mission and bring them back. But if you let them go and you wait for an hour, they will bring back some amazing stuff that you will be able to use. You can sell it. You can make money. There's a ton of stuff they bring back. But again, if you just don't want to deal with it, you're like, hey, this is just a pain in the butt. I don't want to handle that. You, all you have to do is go in there, send them out, and then abort the mission. Let's do this. Abort the expedition. There you go. And talk to him again in debrief. And end. There you go. So the only problem is these will not refresh until tomorrow. So you have to wait a full day before you get more missions. So even if you did all of these, you would only get five. You have to wait till tomorrow to get three more. Because remember, we need eight we need eight missions and they only give you five per day. So you gotta wait a full day before you can do this again. Uh, it's a mind numbing thing. If you don't wanna deal with it, it's kind of a pain in the butt. But, hey, you know what? It is what it is. You can just get it done real easy, real simple. Just send them out, abort the expedition, and then debrief them and you're good. He didn't do anything, exit out, okay. And remember, we've done, what, three of them so far? Yep, three. So we've done three out of our eight. We're good. Ugh. But yeah. So, and again, this is probably going to be the reason why we can't do a uh, a, uh, a speed run because you can't really speed run it when you have to wait for a timer like this. There's no way to speed run this. Oh, we need more fuel. I forgot. So we need to back out. We need to make more fuel. Thankfully, we know the recipe. So we need to make some more. So what we can do is... We need dihydrogen and tritium. Remember, we got a whole bunch of dihydrogen earlier. That's why we did that. There you go. View potential expeditions. There we go. Send them out. Launch. There we go. And we're going to abort. Debrief. There you go. We have one more to do. We've just done five missions in what? Five minutes? That's way faster than normal. <laughs> so, but again, we're not getting any rewards. They will bring back really good stuff. So I would, if you want to wait, it's worth the wait. It really is. But it's going to take you a lot longer to finish the expedition if you wait for all of this stuff. So, I mean, a lot longer than it is now. It's already going to take you at least a day because you got to wait for it to refresh. Abort. Debrief. Yeah, done. All right. So now we're finished, but there is no way to get more missions. Again, when you go in here, it'll say view potential missions. They're all done. So we've done our five for the day. We have to wait till tomorrow to get more. So while we're waiting, let's finish off some of the other uh, things we have to do. Meaning, let's finish off our rendezvous. Let's go to the rendezvous. We have to go land on a planet in order to do that. So let's go land on the planet. Where is my ship? There you are. Beautiful. Oh, wait a minute. That's not him. Where is my ship? Oh, it's over here. Sorry. Hot dog shuttle. Hot dog shuttle. There you go. The other thing we can do is because we have to go to the rendezvous, which is on a planet, it's marked right there. 
but there is a milestone for shooting asteroids. You need to shoot 50 of them. So while you're doing that, let's go over here to this asteroid field. Let's shoot 50 asteroids while we're waiting. So let's go do that. There we go. We mined 50 asteroids. Perfect. Close to collect our reward. That's going to be down in phase four. We just got that done ahead of time. So let's grab that. Very, very cool. And now let's go to that first rendezvous. We're knocking out a ton of stuff, you guys. A ton of stuff early. So we have tritium crystals, our uranium. We can put this in here. Uh, we have gold. We have silver. We have ionized cobalt. All this good. I'm trying to organize this stuff. That way it's all together. Uh, do we have gold in here? Nope. We need a microprocessor. There we go. Amino chamber. Just trying to organize while we're doing this. Look at this purple temporal planet. I am loving it. And remember, keep scanning all the animals. Keep scanning all the plants. And keep scanning all the rocks because you need to get a whole bunch of those. And since we're landing on the planet anyway, why not do that while we're here? Man, that's a beautiful planet. Look at that purple planet. Freaking beautiful. Oh, it's going to be nighttime. Dang it. You can't see the beauty at night. So, oh, wait a minute. There is an amazing upgrade over here. I like this. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We don't want to land too far away from the... Uh, Oh, yeah, the rendezvous is way over here. Yeah, you don't want to land over there. I don't want to walk that far because I'm too lazy for that. So let's land over here. It's going to be a crashed freighter. So look for a crashed freighter to load in. That's where you want to go. I'm assuming it's over here with all the communication stations. There you are. This is where you want to land. This is where the rendezvous is going to be. Crash freighter. What's the plant bases? Yep, there you go. Boom. There you go. And then again, make sure you take advantage of this. Scan all the animals, scan all the plants, scan everything while you're here. Get that, get those uh, milestones done early. All right, I scanned a lot of animals. I scanned a lot of plants and rocks, so we should be good. The other thing we need to do is we need to well, number one, accept the rendezvous number one. There you go. We learned a new formula. Good to go. We also get suit upgrades. So inventory upgrades. So of course, I'm going to throw it in my tech. There you go. We also got 3,000 nanites. I love that. And then now we need to go land back on our freighter or frigate. So let's call that in. Oh, we need to get away from the planet. Let's get away from the planet real fast. That way we can call in our frigate. Freighter, freighter, frigate, you know, our ship. Oh, this thing does not look good. It's red and orange. We need to change that color to purple, you guys. 
So the other thing we need to do is we need to put some stuff. We need to put some upgrades in our freighter. We need to prepare for the next phase since we are done with phase one. Let's collect our reward. Of course, there you are. Now let's get in here. So we need to get some upgrades going. So let's go to manage fleet in our uh, in our squad right there. We need to get three squad members. So we need to unlock the first one, which is 800 nanites. Then we have the second one, which is 3,500 nanites. And then the big one, we need a third one, which is 7,500. So we're going to have to save up and get those later on. But right now we have two open. We also need to upgrade. So let's go over here to our upgrade control. We need to add additional storage to our freighter. There we go. So we can just do that in here. Then we need to customize the appearance because uh, I need purple. It needs to be purple all over. There you go. Purple freighter. That's what you need. I mean, you can choose whatever color you want, but purple's the best. So why, why not use purple? And then base parts and upgrades. We need to get that. Because now we have all these upgrades we can get. We have four frigate, uh, salvage frigate modules. So we can unlock the warp core resonator. We already have that though. So why would you want to buy that? We have the amplified warp. No, no, we have the amplified warp shielding. We do not have the warp core resonator. So we have this one, but not that one. So we can also, if you want to, there you will get these slowly but surely. So don't don't worry about spending any frigate modules on any of this stuff. You will unlock this naturally through the expedition. Don't worry about any of the building stuff, the construction modules. Or if you want to, you can buy the colors. Again, you're going to unlock these anyway, so don't worry about those. I would just say, hey, get some of this stuff. So let's get the warp resonator. There you go. And now what do we need to do? What is our next course of action? We need to read the second log entry, but... We need to get to the second rendezvous before this one unlocks. So don't be fooled. You need to get to the second rendezvous before your log entry will unlock. But we can construct an orbital exocraft materializer. Where is this one? Oh, we need to get to this one first. All right. So we're going to have to call it there, you guys. Hopefully, this helps you get a great start to No Man's Sky Pole Star Expedition. If it did, hit that like button, and I will see you guys in the next video.